We all know that smoking is bad for you. Research shows that one in two smokers will eventually die from their addiction unless they manage to quit. Do you ever think about quitting, but think that it might be too hard? Do you ever think that you couldn't cope without cigarettes? Do you feel that smoking is good for your mental health, perhaps by helping you cope with stress? It turns out that it's a myth that smoking helps you cope with stress. Smoking is linked to increased anxiety and low mood. It might be that tobacco actually harms your mental health in the same way that it harms your physical health. <laughs> New research shows that stopping smoking is linked to an improvement in mental health. In fact, the improvement in mental health after stopping smoking may be as large as the benefit of taking antidepressants. This can be explained through what is known as a tobacco addiction cycle. Nicotine is the addictive ingredient in tobacco and what causes addiction through its effects on the brain, which we experience as pleasurable and rewarding. But after time, we become used to these effects. We continue to smoke mainly to get rid of our withdrawal symptoms that happen when we haven't smoked for a while. Tobacco withdrawal sets in surprisingly soon after smoking a cigarette. While smoking, nicotine travels through the body to the brain, but nicotine only stays in the body for about 20 minutes. When smokers haven't had a cigarette for a while, nicotine levels drop and the craving for another one makes them feel irritable, depressed and anxious. Research shows that smokers can mistake the ability of a cigarette to relieve withdrawal as helping them cope with stress or mood. We know that after stopping smoking for four to six weeks, these withdrawal symptoms go away. As a result, in the long term, people who stop smoking have better mental health than people who continue smoking. Smoking cessation medicines like nicotine replacement therapy or varenicline have been shown to relieve tobacco withdrawal symptoms like irritability, depression and anxiety. People who use one of these medicines when they're trying to stop smoking have twice the success rate of those who don't. If you use these medicines to try to stop smoking, it is important that you use them as often as you've been told to by your GP or stop smoking advisor. Remember, smoking cessation medications are safe and not harmful. It's smoking tobacco that's dangerous, not nicotine.